Hello, hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, I am going to be pulling Wednesday Rise and Shine messages for those of you that join me in the morning. Um, I was actually taking a look at these cards, and let me tell you, they are quite pretty. Um, ooh, after the storm, please, Universal Energies. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this six. Okay, six. Ooh, nice. Sacred Fool. Sacred Fool. Let's see what else we have here. Please, Universal Energies. Two more messages. Two more messages. Oops. Obviously, that's too many. Two more messages. Two more messages for anybody that was brought here by the title. I'm going to tell you, I have here Pandora's Gift which means that some of you could be unmasking somebody, okay? And the reason I say that is because look at the lightning coming through. Look at the light coming through this mask. So I feel that some of you could be giving, listen, we all know that Pandora's box brings many evil things. And, you know, if Pandora's gift is coming through, some of you either could be getting or receiving this black gift is what I'm thinking of, okay? So let's see. Please, Universal Energies, I need one more. Last shuffle, and if not, I'm going to divide the deck and take this. Okay, so let's see. Um, so we have here Sacred Fool. Some of you could be playing the Fool, okay? Others of you you know, could be taking this, you know, leap of faith. And, you know, this is something that's been very thoughtfully put out, you know, very thoughtfully put together, you know, is what I feel with this. I like this card. All right, so we have here after the storm, wisdom, everything. After the storm, everything goes calm. The sunshine comes through, the light comes through. Why? Because listen, you've learned something during that storm. You also have here, big, bold vision. I got this the other day for um, somebody, I don't know, it was probably like a rise and shine or something. You know, so for some of you, you're seeing the huge picture, like there's something loud, it's big, you know, and it's bold and there's something that you can't ignore from that, you know. You also have here, like I said, Pandora's gift. Okay, so I feel like, I don't know, I feel like some of you could reveal something that's been a secret, it's been a dark secret, you know, listening to the truth. So there's definitely something here that's going to, you know, some of you, you know, you could be something, you could bring something to light. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> and I just said diving for light. Okay, so you, there's something here that's going to come through. You know, there's three cards here that are talking about, you know, that I'm looking at as the light. Actually, four. Yeah. So, you know, for some of you, I feel like there's something here that you're going to learn. You know what? We're going to do something a little different today. We are going to clarify these cards, okay? To see if we can bring something in and then we'll clarify those cards, okay? So we're going to put them here. Listening for the truth. Tell me more about this listening for the truth. Let's see if we can get down to the bottom of this. For those of you that are watching, please universal energies. Ooh, somebody here is stalking somebody. Okay, I'm going to take all, all of them, you know, because I wasn't going to, but I'm like, what the heck? An adjustment. Ooh, scales are about to get even in a situation. Okay, and I'm going to tell you, this is going to be, this is going to have, this is going to be involving the truth. Okay, and then some of you are going to turn around, you're going to be like, you know what, I don't really need this bullshit in my life. You know, for some of you, if you're going through something bad, you're not going to need the bullshit. Okay, um, three of disc. With the three of disc, I feel that for some of you, you know, 
there's some truth here coming to you. Some of you, um, you know, will have to work with other people in this, you know, in this situation in order for you to get ahead. Ahead is what I'm hearing. Um, you also have here the Prince of Swords. So there's somebody here who may be spying on somebody and looking for the truth. Okay, there's somebody here who's going to have to listen to the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Why is the sacred fool here? Sacred fool, why is it here? Please universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. The sacred fool, why is it here for anybody who is watching? <clears throat> Nine of Swords. I feel that some of you literally took a leap of faith. And I'm going to tell you, if somebody took a leap of faith, some of you are going a little fucking nuts about it. You know, some of you may be sleeping, um, not sleeping, not sleeping well. <laughs> you're not sleeping well. You may be sleeping, but you're not sleeping well. You're biting your nails at night. You're like, what the fuck is going on? You know, for those of you that are taking a leap of faith, some of you may be nervous about your leap of faith. It's okay to be nervous about the leap of faith. Take it anyway. You know what I mean? Um, why is the after the storm here? Talk to me about this storm. The nine of disc. Listen, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I want you to see this light coming through. Okay, and with the nine of disc, this is growth for some of you. You know, so I feel like some of you are going to gain some independence after whatever it is. You know, when I say that a storm comes in, when the storm comes in, it usually comes in and it collapses a few things and kind of puts them in place. You know, people may think, Oh, it's breaking. No, it's not breaking. It's falling into place. And I feel that for some of you, um, you know, your financial status is going to fall into place little by little. If you've been in a financially bad place and you've been working on your future, on your success, I see independence here before you. Okay. Um, you have here big, bold vision. What do you need to focus on? What do you need to focus on? Ooh, the tower and the hang man. <clears throat> Listen, see the bigger picture with this? The bigger picture just lets me know that some of you have to see the chaos. Let me tell you, the tower is chaos. The tower can also be a shift in your ground, you know, putting you into another section. You want me to tell you why? Because listen, look at this. This is the hangman. You can't stay like this. This is not the way you live life. Who can go around upside down? Some of you, you know, your, your, your world, this is why you're being asked, okay? This is why you're being asked to see the big, bold vision. Have the vision. Why? Because some of you are like this. You know, and until you see that, listen, this situation may cause you some interruption in your life because with the tower here, this is something completely destroyed, com completely collapsed. And for some of you, this is what you need, okay? Simple, this is what you need because some of you are in the wrong place or you're refusing to see the truth on this, you know? Um, why is, ooh, Okay, I was gonna say Pandora's Pandora's gift. Some of you are here. Are, are let me tell you, whatever you find out, whatever you discover is going to require you to go into isolation and heal. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Some of you are gonna discover some truth that could be very hurting for you. You know, it's something that you may not expect. It's finally going to bring you in some kind of truth because you know what some of you have been in a bad place here with the storm you know so now it's time to really go into self-isolation now it's a time to really really withdraw from the people who confuse you who kind of have you lost you know withdraw from the people who 
who don't give a shit about how your heart feels, you know, and try to go into isolation and heal that. You know, with the diving for light. Let me see. <laughs> Did you see that? Queen of Swords. I'm going to tell you, if this is your energy for some of you, um, I see that some of you are finally going to go deep within to find some light. I feel like some of you have been in a place that has suffocated you. With the Queen of Swords, this is being betrayed. This is being heartbroken. And I'm going to tell you, when I see the Queen of Swords, she's a very wise woman. She knows not to involve her heart because it's already been broken. You know, so when she makes a decision, you know, I feel that some, you know, uh, uh, I also feel that sometimes a queen of swords is somebody who's just, you know, she's bitter, but you know what? She's bitter for a reason. She's bitter because she's been betrayed before, you know? So we're, we're going to clarify now these cards. Why is the justice here? Something here is about to get even, okay? And I, 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 I'm, you know, I'm hearing the word karma because with the listening to the truth, some of you are gonna get your karma by listening to some truth, you know? And you're gonna have to decide what do you want to do, you know? There's gonna be some work that's gonna have to be put in here, you know? Some of you are gonna work to be, you know, you're gonna work, but you're gonna work trying to spy on somebody. Listen. Send for yourself is what I'm hearing, okay? Send for yourself. That's how I heard it. The high priestess. Listen, some of you know that the scales are about to get even, okay? Some of you know, listen, and I'm just hearing this, what goes around comes around, okay? And I'm, I don't even have the wheel of fortune in front of me. But, you know, with the high priestess here and the justice, I feel that with these two energies, this is some of you fully well knowing that somebody has either treated you unfair, you know, they've treated you like shit. And some of you know this. Some of you know that, you know what? It doesn't even fucking matter. It doesn't even matter. You know what? Because the scales are about to get even. I keep saying this year is the year of people receiving their karma. <laughs> and unfortunately, I hate to say it like that, but you know what? I, I you know, I, I gotta be honest. I know a few people who, who are due <laughs> to receive karma, you know? Oh my fucking word. Look at this. Spying, spying. Okay. Spying on somebody. Oh my fucking word. Somebody, let me tell you, somebody may be spying on you, okay? Why is the page of swords here twice? Page of swords. You know what, the prince of swords is actually, okay, so you know what, we also have the knight. We have the knight of wands, knight of swords, page of swords, and the three of wands. I don't know, I'm kind of picturing that this person was in and out of your life for a while. I'm kind of picking up that with the three of discs and the three of wands, I feel like it's time for some of you to actually move away from this energy because you know what? Some of you have been spending some time really spying on this person and um, you know, it's, it's time, it's time to move away. Some of you are moving, okay? Some of you with the, with the three of wands, some of you are moving. Some of you are taking a trip, and I'm going to tell you here, look at this beautiful energy. Okay, the world energy is showing up. This little panda is ready to love you, okay? <laughs> this is love yourself into a better journey. For some of you, this is... Um, <laughs> this is um, starting something completely, completely brand new. Okay, this is learning the lessons. This is going, this is going through the grinder. <laughs> okay, there's just no other way how to say this. This is somebody who's been through everything. And now the universe is here saying, you know what? We are granting you the world because you deserve it, you know? And some of you, you know, you know you deserve it. You know who you are. If you've been doing the work and you've been trying to get yourself out of a bad situation and you have faced all the truth, things are coming for you. 
you know? Put in all your positivity because remember, whatever you put out is what you, whatever you put out is what you reap, okay? It, it is simple as that, all right? For those of you that are having evil minds toward people, <laughs> that comes back to you. Um, two of swords, so positivity, two of swords, okay? I feel like some of you are nuts with this card. You know, with the two of swords and the nine of swords, you know that there's here a decision that is probably going to, it's going to drive you crazy. You know, some of you are locked in a situation where you really don't know how to get out of it. You know, you know that there's a decision that you need to make, but this decision has you super nervous. I feel like this is going into um, another you know, with the world here and the sacred fool, I can't help but feel that, you know, this is, like I said, a brand new world in front of you, you know? Why is the nine, nine of swords? I mean, I'm sorry, the nine, ooh, ooh, five of wands, okay? This is for um, the nine of swords. I feel like some of you went single because you know what? You're tired of competing with other people. Okay, this is somebody competing. As you can see, this is like, an, you know, this is like fighting. Okay, look at this little panza upside down kicking. You know, he's being kicked the shit out of or He's trying to fucking be, he's trying to fucking get out of this, you know, out of this fuckery. I'm going to tell you, this is the, the fives, five of wands, you know. So some of you, you know what, you, you don't want to be part of this anymore. You're like, you know what, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not going to be part of that. Let's, let's clarify the tower here. Why is the tower here? Tower. Page of Pentacles. And another fucking page. I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of, you know, opportunities here. But I'm going to tell you, there's also some immaturity. Okay? Some of you. I don't know what, I don't know who this is. You know, but somebody here is, is, Spoiled, acting like a child. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. Spying, looking. Listen. <laughs> Somebody, you know, th there's something. There's something here. You know, something that just fell apart. Money situations fell apart here with the page of pentacles. Some of you are like, fuck, like I gotta start from scratch. That's what I'm kind of feeling for some of you. Like with this tower moment, everything kind of fell apart. And I feel like some of you are looking toward, um, you know, seeing what you can do. Because pages are, are, you know, very small offerings or kind of messages that are coming in. But with the, with the page of swords here twice, some of you need to stop that. That looking into somebody, this spying or something like that, you know. Um, you know, you, some of you are losing sleep. You're losing sleep over this. All right, let's see what we have here. Ace. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Oh, my fucking word. I want you to see this. I'm going to put these here because I want to make sure that I don't forget them because I have quite a few. The hangman. Not once, but twice. Okay, listen, get yourself out of this. <clears throat> get yourself out of this shit because I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> you cannot live life upside down. You, you can't. And I'm going to tell you, look at what's coming for you. I don't do reversals for those of you that see me turn the cards over. Okay? Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands. This is beautiful energy, guys. Like, seriously, this is gorgeous, you know? And I feel like some of you are stuck for no fucking reason. You're stuck because you feel like being stuck, you know? And you're stuck and you're self-sabotaging your journey. You're self-sabotaging your fucking road. I'm going to tell you, there's aces here. There's pages which are, you know, iffies, but you know what? You, you need to really turn around and see the fucking truth about where you've been, how, what have you done? You know, because with the Three of Pentacles, I feel like some of you could be struggling to work with other people, but you know what? It's just not working right now for you guys. I don't know, it's just not working. All right, so let me see what else we have here. 
death. Listen, transform this situation. Get yourself out of this hangman position and put yourself in a better place. Turn. Listen, do the work. Do the work and turn the other way because some of you are, are, don't know how to do that. Listen, if you need help, if you need to talk to somebody, you know, um, do it, you know, do what you need to do in order to get yourself out of this shit. Because you know what? I feel like some of you, you know, I feel like some of you are doing the work to get out of it, out of it, but there's so many little fucking issues that some of you are still not facing. And that's kind of what I'm picking up, you know? Um, why is the hermit here? What are you going to be healing from? What are you going to be healing from? The Hierophant. Hmm. Some of you, I'm going to tell you, you're having a fucking spiritual awakening. There's something here that's going to shake your fucking ground. Hermit, Hierophant, Hangman, Tower, Justice. world why is the queen of swords here show me more about this queen of swords show me more why is this person heartbroken page of sword page of cups wow so right now you have page of pentacles Page of Cups. Page of Cups for me is somebody coming in because they feel like they owe you an apology. Maybe you feel like they owe you an apology. You have the Page of Swords as well. You have the Page of Swords again. You know? Oh, and here you go. And you have the Page of Wands. Wow, that's a lot of fucking pages. That's five pages, guys. It's work to be done. And I, I feel like for some of you, there was something here that you avoided for so long that I feel like you're so behind because definitely some of you have very powerful cards. But look, I feel that all this are things that you need to take care of still. You know, these are all pages. And, you know, okay, last one. Show me more about this Hierophant. Last one. Show me more about this Hierophant. Show me more about this Hierophant. Please, Universal Energies. Spirit guides, there we go. Last one, seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you, for some of you, if you were involved in a situation, if it's been seven years, seven years since your awakening, seven months since your awakening, you know, like I said, I feel like there's something here that maybe has no more growth in your energy. This could also be, um, you know, I don't know, somebody could also be committed or married in this situation with the Hierophant. But I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of picking up that for some of you, you know, you're getting a rude awakening. There's a rude fucking awakening here and this ain't going to be pretty, you know, and I'm not saying it's, it's not going to be like, you know, catastrophe, but you know, some of you do have some work here to still do. You you got some kinks on the road that you need to sort out, you know? Last one, why is the death here? Death, energy, wheel of fortune. Bam, okay, and you know what that means? It means that for those of you that are not fucking ready, the universe is going to make you ready. They're going to come in and they're going to fucking switch up your destiny. Okay? Look at this little panda. He's about to take that ring around like this. And he's going to end up somewhere else. All right? So, listen. 
I feel like for some of you, the universe really has your back, but some of you are really, you know, fighting this journey. You're fighting this journey. Some of you are fighting this journey. This, the worst, I'm hearing the worst is over. So you know what? Take it in your own hands and bring yourself to a better place because you definitely got some good energy here for the future, I feel. Okay. Thank you so much and take care.